So PictoChart is an infographic tool, and we are lucky enough to have another guest presenter. So um, Muhi, our other grad student, is going to come and tell you about PictoChart. And by the way, Mu's family is here visiting from China. Say hi to Mu's family. Thank you. So uh, <coughs> I occasionally speak some Chinese words, so don't uh, panic about that. <laughs> Okay, so uh, picture chart, and here I create a brief, a uh, short video to uh, introduce that. to find a promo video from uh, people chart uh, website but they didn't uh, really supply one so I have to make one uh, by myself so the idea of infographic is to use image to uh, present uh, information more efficiently and more uh, clearly and its origin is from the uh, data visualization so uh, especially with the popularity of big data the concept so we have a lot of data and how to uh, analyze data and uh, let the audience know what's the meaning of those data is really become really uh, more and more challenging and that's why we have the uh, infographic like this have a lot of numbers and um, with uh, uh, attractive uh, charts to present it so uh, traditionally if you want to uh, create an uh, infographic like this one, you have to know Photoshop, Illustrator, and InDesign. And combine all of them, you need to spend like hours and hours to create a chart like this. So it is not practical for the uh, educators like you. You do not want to spend uh, hours and hours just presenting one uh, image. And that's why we present you the uh, pixel chart. And with that, you uh, in five steps, and you will create a comparable infographic like this one. So uh, this is too uh, small, but if you notice, look at really closely, you will find all the information in this chart is exactly the same as this one. And I created this one in about uh, 15 minutes. So it's really uh, a good use for your time. And also, uh, infographic, as it the name indicated is used to present information. So it could be a really good uh, presentation too. So if you are looking for create an imitation or it's a short uh, course slides, you don't need to uh, really open the PowerPoint. You can just drag some hidings and some data and put it on here and then it will generate a, a, a JPEG or PNG image. You can easily to embed in Sakai, in Canvas, or you share it with your students. And also, if you use this as an educational tool, then you can make the, uh, as the illustrator, uh, as the image in the video, you can move the teach learning experience from the bottom of the uh, Bloom's uh, technology uh, to the top of that. Because 
when students are asked to create an infographic, they have to gather the data, they have to uh, analyze, uh, evaluate, and then finally they create the infographic <coughs> like that. Okay, so um, here I will just briefly demonstrate how it works. And thanks for your attention. Okay, so once you log into the Google uh, chart, and I'm sure uh, if you create an account, you don't need to uh, go through my uh, my experience. And uh, you will have a lot of choice. They provide uh, about more than 100 templates. Uh, but some of them, if you see the pro, it means you have to buy the, uh, the pro plan to use it. But uh, they, there are plenty of the, uh, free plan, uh, free versions I have already there. So mouse over on it and simply click on create, give it a name. So after this short waiting, then you will uh, be able to customize the template uh, based on your need. And um, for the infograph, uh, for the uh, pixel chart, it applied, adopted the linear uh, work, uh, design. So basically from the top to the bottom, you have been uh, have to work with different uh, blocks. You can add, you can uh, add a block or it is very easy to add another new block or you just clone the exist block. And uh, if you double click on that, you can edit uh, the text, the image, or you can upload your own image to here and drag it to the uh, main canvas. So you, the only thing you need to do is just test, uh, tag, uh, type the text and drag and drop to the picture. And once you finish everything, you go through from the top to the bottom, and then you save it, preview it, and then you are ready to download it and distribute to your uh, students. Okay, so that's pretty much for the demonstration of this tool. If you are interested, please welcome to our uh, workshop this afternoon. Any question? Yes. So is it, can you also use photos or how does it? Yes, definitely. You can import your uh, photos to here and also provide those uh, vector images in this, uh, in this web application, which you can zoom in and not zoom out and there's no lose for the, uh, the quality of the image. Can you, can you, um, <clears throat> I guess, import this into a PowerPoint slide? Or? Yep. yep. Once you, uh, there are a, a lot of sharing okay. options. You, you can get an image and embed in there, or you can have the embed code into your uh, white page or whatever you want to embed. Yes. Yes. Would it also work with um, something like iBook Author? Uh, yes. Once you get the image, then you can just embed it in there. Right. It's just like a normal picture. The one thing great about putting it in PowerPoint is that it, these tend to be very long, you know, very banner, vertical banner-like. And when you put it in PowerPoint, then it'll get small. You know, it, it, it's not the perfect proportions. But you can make small ones if you really like. Them. <laughs> Short is good. Thank you. Short is good. Okay. You're welcome. Thank you. Um, and of the infographics when I started this journey, this was an interesting one to me. It um, is the 20 top bankruptcies. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let me just zoom in on that. Here. Come here. Come here. Okay. I'm in presentation mode. That's why it's not zooming. Okay. Um, so it, it was really interesting to me that they make the size of the ship relate to the size of the bankruptcy. So guess which one is Enron? Yeah. Okay. okay. But it has a timeline. So again, a lot of research goes behind this. It's not just a picture. It really is a picture that tells a thousand words. 